what are the most successful ads for newbies part three of three now this is a three-part series if you haven't watched number one and number two you'll want to go down in the description click on the links to one and two make sure you watch those this is video three and this is the final in this series are you trying to run ads and you're a newbie or you're a beginner or maybe maybe you've just had bad luck you're trying to run ads it's not working out well you're going to want to stick to this video here because i'm walking you through all the steps of things you need to do to have super successful ads even if you're a newbie even if you've tried before and they didn't work out these videos can help you run successful ad campaigns now if you're new to my channel my name is JR Fisher welcome this channel is here to help you start run and grow your online business I've been selling online since 2009 and I've sold millions of dollars worth of both digital and physical products and I feel good about that so I thought hey I need to share this with other people I need to start a channel so that's what I did and on this channel you can get all those tips and tricks and secrets to help you start run and grow your online business we have a very successful um, survival food company that's been in existence since 2010 and those products are actually sold on thousands of websites including Walmart and that's survival cave food you can search that after this particular video but what I've learned along the way are certain things that work and certain things that don't work and I want to share those things with you I also put together a course it's a $97 course however for watching this video you can get access for free if you look down in the description down there I've put a link to it it's a free e-commerce course you don't need a credit card or anything like that so make sure you subscribe to this channel also and don't forget turn on the bell notifications next to that subscribe button there you're gonna see a little bell you want to click it when you click it you want to turn on all notifications and what that will do is it'll allow you to be part of the VIP family right you'll be notified every time I upload a video you'll be notified when I go live so you'll know before anybody else does and you won't miss any information now in this video we need to get you set up we've we've walked you through all the steps but the next thing we need to do is set up your conversion tracking now this is done differently in in Google as it is in Facebook but both of them basically require you to put some code on your website now both of these sites have instructions on how to do that so I would suggest you going through those instructions but if you don't know how you can search you know in Fiverr or something like that and have somebody put these conversion codes on there now you don't have to worry if they did it properly because you can get a code tracker and put that at the top of your page and it can actually look to see if that code is installed on your page correctly now in this visual here I want to kind of walk you through this uh, and I'll, I'll just read it off to you one of the amazing things about conversion tracking is that Facebook utilizes optimized CPM to determine who sees your ads now that's pretty cool if somebody who is interested in your product is the only people who see your ads because you don't want somebody who is not even interested in your product to see your ads what's the point uh, OCPM allows advertisers to prioritize their marketing goals and then automatically delivers ads against those goals in the most effective way possible this allows advertisers to maximize the value they get from their budgets now when you look down here guys there's a whole bunch of different ways you can optimize for the following conversion types you can optimize for checkouts you can optimize for registration leads key page views ads to cart other website conversions so Facebook what they'll do is they will learn which users perform these desired actions through advertisers using conversion tracking this intelligence helps Facebook target your ad at people most likely to convert on your ad now here are some of the steps to set up your Facebook conversion pixel I want to walk you through them in all these visuals here number one you want to on your Facebook ads manager click the conversion tracking tab to the left right here and then step two from the drop-down menu give your conversion pixel a name uh, it's easy to remember like select a category that best describes the conversion rates you want to see so what you're gonna do is click checkouts right here like you're seeing on this one and then click create pixel you can see it right there then what you want to do is copy the code that appears right here you can see it on this visual right here 
this is configuring your conversion pixel code uh, and then what you want to do is paste it within the opening and closing head tags of your web page like I said they give you good instructions on how to do this but they're all different whether you're on a Shopify store whether you're on WordPress whether you're on Magento whether you're in Kartra wherever you are you want to get the instructions for putting it on that particular page but this is basically where it's going to go on the script uh, you can also use the power editor to create a conversion pixel that will help you track conversion rates on your Facebook ad clicks and all you have to do is go to the power editor and basically walk through the same steps and you're going to end up doing the same thing by managing your ads conversion tracking uh, and then create your pixel and then of course you're going to put it on your page again now here's a word of caution though conversions they can be confusing um, there's a common scenario that plays out over and over again you set up your conversion tracking and the data starts rolling in and you think oh my god I'm good everything's great um, then you start reading some of the blog posts about how to improve that conversion rate and maybe you start to reduce the form fields and maybe you start changing your landing pages to drive more conversions um, and then they immediately shoot up like 11 10 14 percent whatever it is but here's the truth that conversion is really kind of lying to you sure that little tweak there you know just brought in a bunch of new leads or subscribers however that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna pay you anything right so what's really important is sales and your leads to sales conversions might have actually gotten worse because you're bringing in more people that are interested in looking and seeing what they can get for free but not actually buying from you now in, in this visual I'm going to show you on screen here right now it says landing conversion rates and percent marketing qualified leads if you notice here you've got in uh, the bottom of the chart here you've got uh, qualified leads at two percent and seven percent landing conversion rate which is pretty good now you're upping as you can see here your percent marketing qualified leads goes up to 18 percent but you only got one percent that is converting so the point here is just because you're driving more traffic and you're getting more leads the ultimate goal is to get more sales to get more customers the next thing you're going to want to do is craft a powerful Facebook ad design now Facebook ads can, can be confusing and I actually have a free training on Facebook ads you can see a link below in the description you, you can click on that and go through a free Facebook masterclass and learn how to do your ads now doing these ads and driving your traffic to your landing pages can be very profitable but I've seen a lot of people lose a ton of money doing this too because they're sending a ton of traffic to landing pages that aren't optimized so even if you're getting a lot of traffic if you have a bad landing page it's not going to do you any good the next thing you want to remember is you want to be really clear and concise about your message on your ads in Facebook don't try to get too in-depth don't try to get too detailed just one clear concise message the next thing you got to watch out is your visual uh, your visual information is really important in the Facebook algorithm but it's got to match with what their guidelines are if you violate their guidelines it's not going to get approved or worse yet you'll lose your account now here's some examples on the screen here um, the first one on the top left is a pretty good it's a close up of a face um, if the if you look at the one on the right here it's pretty bad because the people are too small and far away you really can't make them out and they say you need to see the person's face uh, the next one down here is mint marketing plan and it says sick of slow sales learn how you can take your business from pre-launch to 160,000 users that's pretty good it's large it's short text you know it's to the point uh, now the one here on the right uh, printed party shades those are kind of cool get flashy with these party shades join fab.com and say 47 percent that's pretty good it's bright it's a clear image it's straight to the point people know what you're selling now here's the truth your brain actually processes visuals 60,000 times faster than it can process text so you're much better off to communicate with pictures than you are in words now here's some more really good examples of clear and relevant visuals used in different Facebook ads uh, you've got uh, the first one left there Jasper's market and you can see the fruit they've got there you've got Dolce and Gabbana right here uh, it says check out our new SS 13 men's bag they have a nice image there and then you got the Hobbit kingdoms I know nothing about this stuff build your 11 or dwarven kingdom I have no idea what that means but apparently people like that because they got a hundred thousand people play this particular game the next thing I'll tell you is make sure your ad is relevant throughout and what do I mean by that your call to action your text your image all of those things have to be relevant now here's a good example here from Fitbit uh, you can see it's got all the different models right there meet the Fitbit family uh, with activity tracker and everyone so it's, it's really concise 
it tells you what they have to offer you know what you're gonna get and everything flows really nice in this particular app now the next thing you want to look at is the relevance score relevance score is something that Facebook assigns to all ads and the higher the closer you can get to 10 the better off you are if people feel like that ad is not relevant they will click on it and stop seeing this ad or I don't want to see this ad and that's gonna drive down your relevance score so make sure you are targeting the right audiences with these ads because if you don't and your relevance score goes down um, it's gonna cost you more first off Facebook will charge you more to show your ad if it's a lower relevance ad than if it's a higher one and secondly it's not relevant so you probably won't get a lot of good results from it either now the next thing I'll tell you is look at your value proposition okay that's super important you want to make a promise of value in your ad the value proposition really will set your product or offer apart from the competition now this chart kind of explains it better uh, but as you can see here the value propositions in the center there you want to define your customers needs define cost of service upgrades define customer benefits of service upgrade define conditions for concessions and present value proposition now if you claim your latest book is really useful and you want to prove it to people what you can do is give them the first couple chapters let them read it and if they find it useful and you told the truth and it really is you'll have a lot more conversions that way because they got a taste of something they want more of now here's a really cool ad recently that Airbnb did uh, I like this one a lot it's got their logo at the top here it says since you're already using Airbnb to book accommodations help pay for your travels by listing your space while you're away so they're making money on both ends that way they're making money because you're renting and they're making money because you're gonna rent now Airbnb makes it easy to make extra money on what you already have so that's a that's a pretty relevant ad there and it's a pretty cool angle to go about it and it says rent out your space on Airbnb while you travel next thing I'll tell you is make sure it's clear make sure it's a clear call to action okay there's no shortcut to getting people to act you just really have to be clear about what you want now according to small business trends 70% of small business b2b sites do not have a CTA or have a poorly defined CTA or call to action now if you look at this chart right here you'll see small business b2b websites no email address on homepage 68% that's crazy no social media accounts 82% no meta descriptions how are you gonna get found guys 56% and no call to action on the home page 70% so you're driving these people to your home page when they get there there's nothing for them to do so it's important to remember you need these call to action buttons on your ads but you also need them on the pages when they get there for all this stuff to work and step five is low friction conversion so improving your conversions is the ultimate goal of every pay-per-click campaign um, it's a little wonder that 85% of search marketing experts will pay close attention to conversion rate optimization this year it's super super important to do now here's a great example I've used them a couple times for digital marketer you can basically see what you're getting here it's the ultimate social media swipe a copy and paste these 72 proven headline formulas to get more clicks from Facebook Twitter and your own blog really simple and then it's got a huge thing there it says swipe file it's got a big green arrow pointing at it so you know exactly what to do and then it's got a download now button on it not to mention it's got on the bottom there all these other companies that they use for social proof now your Facebook ads are really gonna work best if you set up a conversion funnel and what do I mean by that basically you want to give them something up front so you want to make them feel like they've already gotten value from you so that could be a download something like that and it doesn't really matter if you're selling physical products or you're selling digital products that value up front really means a lot once you get them to give up their email then you can follow up with good content and useful information in the niche that you're marketing in and once you've done that two or three or four times then you can offer your product to them now this is an automation thing that's done by a lot of softwares but the best one out there really right now is Kartra uh, I would highly recommend Kartra and down in the description right there you will find a link for Kartra where you can actually click the link you don't need a credit card or anything like that and you can watch a video on all the things it'll do but it'll set all this up for you and you don't have to be a techie person to use it um, once you get it all figured out it's really quite simple and this will automatically send out all these emails and all this information and sales and all this to all the people on your list as you deem necessary so I would highly recommend checking out Kartra uh, if you use that link below like I said you can watch a free video on it and if you do decide to get Kartra you can get a trial offer on it for one dollar so one dollar is well worth it for you to learn it get all this stuff set up so that you don't have to do this stuff every day 
step number six which none of us really want to do but we've got to constantly monitor tweak we got to refine these things it's it's an ongoing process guys this is not like you're gonna set up your ads and you're gonna leave it there for two years it's just it doesn't work that way online there's too many variables too many things change and um, we, we got to make changes you know we have to we have to respond to the data that we're getting in on all these ads and if things aren't working out we've got to make changes now number seven is if they're not working I want you to check for these common problems because a lot of times these are the problems that have major ads not work or you know are causing issues where you're not getting the results you want the first thing I'll tell you is look out for ad fatigue uh, it's it's a thing that we've all experienced online and the thing with ad fatigue is after a while it just doesn't work anymore there's not really a reason for it it just got worn out too many people saw it you wore out your audience and once a lot of people see it and they're not interested in it then you got to change things up now here's the recommendation from Facebook they say that you ought to switch up your ad creative every week or two every week or two that's a lot guys so if you're not changing your ad creative every week or two you're going to experience ad fatigue now I'm not saying change it if it's like killing it if it's doing great and you're just crushing it that's one thing but if you're not getting quite the results you want or below par from what you want or if the results that you have gotten have gone down a little bit you need to change your creative now here's an example right here from Shopify all they really did is they took their same ad and they kind of changed up the image that's in the ad as you can see here and just that little single change like that to make all the difference in the world you can also make a change in your headline maybe the headline needs to be switched out so all these little things uh, are gonna make a difference you may also want to try different offers you know maybe a different price point something along those lines so all of these are things that you need to do and you're gonna have to constantly do if you're going to be running Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever ads you are running so in conclusion there's a lot of things you can do to really be successful right out of the gate as a newbie you don't have to have been running ads for years and years and years for this stuff to work you just have to follow some guidelines and if you follow these guidelines and you watch the other two videos in the series this is video three make sure you watch video one and two and I'll put the link below uh, it'll help you out immensely and you'll skip over a lot of the errors and mistakes that other people make now in addition to that I have a free course below it's a free e-commerce course I would suggest you grab that course uh, it's a great course it walks you through all the steps and it'll help you out a whole lot and it costs you nothing you don't even need a credit card and the link is below it'll say free e-commerce course it's a $97 course and you can get it absolutely free now also don't forget if you haven't done so I want you to join the family click that subscribe button down there and ring the bell smash the bell turn on all bell notifications matter of fact you got to select turn on all notifications if you do that I can notify you every single time I do a new video and you won't miss a single thing and I also do some lives and you'll be notified when I'm doing a live video so you can jump on you can talk to me you can comment and we can spend some time together on a live video thank you so much for watching this put your comments below if you've tried some of these things okay put your comments below if you need some help with something please put your comments below I want to hear from you I will be happy to respond to as many people as I possibly can give me a thumbs up down there click that thumbs up on this video and I'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel